it is the first day of 28 days of black cosplay black history month make sure you're supporting your black cosplayers it's also cosplay makeup monday and today we are doing a thumbelina look because thumbelina is one of my favorite movies and uh it's my comfort movie and it's time to do a comfort character today and thumbelina is played by one of my favorite favorite voice actors, and that's Jodie Benson. You might remember her as the voice of Ariel in the Little Mermaid movies and the TV show. <laughs> I love Jodie Benson and I love that she's Thumbelina. She brought this character to life in such a beautiful way. If you like cosplay and kawaii fashion, then make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, and share this video if you care, darling, because we are on the way to what? 1K. Alright, so it's time for the eyes. I'm going to be using this caution tape from Makeup a Murder. Isn't it so cute? It's eye tape and I absolutely love it. I don't typically use eye tape, but I want to try it out and see what I think. Okay, so Thumbelina has really like um, pinky orange eyes, so I'm trying to do that with my eyes. I'm going to go in with this really light pale pink and we're just going to put that right underneath our brow bone. All right, now that that's right underneath our brow bone, we're gonna go in with a little bit of orange. I'm gonna be using my Take Me Back to Brazil palette because this palette is full of so many colors. Taking the same brush, I'm gonna go in with an orange color right underneath that brow bone color. So, now that that's done, we're going to take a darker pink and we're gonna just put it in the outer corner. Start from that outer corner, pack it in there really good, and then drag it out. I'm going to go into my white eye primer, and I am just going to figure out where I want to put my crease. Alright, so now that we have white concealer all over our eyes, we are going to go in a really pretty shimmery color. That looks really pretty. All right, so now let's put on some eyeliner. I'm using my Wet n Wild eyeliner. So I'm gonna go back into that orange color and I'm gonna drag that right underneath where I put that wing and to the underneath my eye. Put on some mascara, gray lash as always. Since we're a cartoon character, you guys already know, we need to get some white. So we're gonna take some white paste paint, we're gonna put it on our lower lash line. All right, now it's time to do the face. Um, Thumbelina has a very orangey pinkish like blush color and it's like all over her face and then she has a couple little freckles. So we are going to try to create that. First, I'm just going to take some orange eyeshadow and I'm just going to put it where I would typically put blush for Thumbelina. All right, so now that it's mapped out with a base, we're gonna go in with a actual pink blush and we're going to go on top of that orange you want to put the darkest color right where you see where you smile and kind of just lightly drag it back I'm gonna do regular bronzer and all the tastes are typically bronze grab my highlighter brush and my Afro highlighter I love Afro it looks great. We look super dewy. She has a very dewy look because she's from nature, so we need to make ourselves look super dewy. I'm going to take a little bit of my mixing agent from Makeup a Murder. So I mixed it with some orange eyeshadow, and I'm literally just going to do the inner part of my mouth. Now we are going to take my Beauty Supply Lip Gloss. You already know. Um, the Beauty Supply Lip Gloss be so glossy you can see it from like five rooms away. Like, ugh, I love it. Alright, so now that our lips are like super glossy, it is time to do our lashes and then it's the cosplay time. I'm going to be using It's a Lashes again. Alright, we got the lashes on, we look good, now it's time to go get dressed. I will be right back. So, as you can see, this is how it looks. This is how the wig looks up close and then you guys can see the full thing. We're here, this is me modeling. Whatever. Let me know if you've seen Thumbelina before. What's your favorite scene? My favorite scene is Miss Filled Mouse when she sings Absolutely love that scene. If you're interested in supporting black cosplayers this Black History Month, make sure that you hit that 
notification bell so you do not miss my next video because on Wednesday I will be giving you a list of 10 amazing black cosplayers that you can support this Black History Month by sharing their content, liking their photos, commenting, and just really lifting them up because we go through a lot. Also don't forget to check out the Your Nerdy Girlfriend podcast where we're talking about all things nerdy and fun. And hey, since you're waiting for the next video, why don't you check out these videos right here. They sound really entertaining. I think you should check them out. Bye!